hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to another BBAQW guide I'm here with Raj today. And today we will be showing you how to get the Hollowborn Sword of Doom. Now, there are quite a few prerequisites that you need before getting the Hollowborn Sword of Doom. Um, the most notable, of course, being the Necrotic Sword of Doom, Sepulcher's Doom Knight Armor, Sepulcher's Original Helm, the Hollowborn Shadow of Fate, and Lay's Hardcore Contract. Uh, in this video, we will be showing you how to get the Hollowborn Shadow of Fate and Lay's Hardcore Contract. For the Necrotic Sword of Doom, Sepulcher's Doom Knight Armor, and Sepulcher's Original Helm, uh, we will link our guides on how to get those three items in the description below. So let's start with Lay's Hardcore Contract. So the first thing you want to do is slash join Hollow Deep. And once you're here, click on Lay and click on the contract. Now, um, once you are in his quest here called Now We're Talking, um, you will notice that there's a requirement that you must be level 65. Now on top of that, um, to complete the final quest, you also have to be level 100. So to get this sword, you have to be level 100, but um, I'm assuming most of you already will be level 100, assuming you already have the Necrotic Sword of Doom, so hopefully that won't be an issue. If so, it's probably just a minor setback by a few levels. But to start off, you need to be level 65, and it takes one soul potion, uh, 50 human souls, and 13 fallen souls. Now, to get the soul potion, uh, you simply slash join Alchemy Academy. And once you're here, talk to Alina. Go to the buy potions, go to the Gebo merge, and you will scroll down until you see the soul potion. And the soul potion is pretty expensive, but gold isn't much of an issue these days. In modern day AQW, so it costs five gold vouchers. Buy those right up here. It will cost you 2.5 million. And after you have that, the next thing you'll need is 30 human souls. And to get those, you want to slash join Noxus Tower. Now once you're here, you will not want to go into the actual tower. You're actually going to want to go to the left. It's a little bit of a walk, but it will save you time in the long run. Head down here. Head back over. You're going to start making your uh, way into a kind of different area, into the keep of some sort. And once you go to this room to the right, there will be a room with three humans, but you have to kill all these guys to pass. Let's do that real quick. And there you go. Farm these guys until you have 50 um, human souls, but you will actually end up needing somewhere along the lines of 1050 I believe by the end of the day so yeah sit in this room and farm up to the max stack which is 300 okay next up are fallen souls you'll need 13 of those and those are dropped by the undead paladin in the doomwood forest so slash join doomwood head off to the left head down Down again. Just keep following the path. And then in this final room here where Raj is, is the undead paladin. Super easy. Just 13 of them. And there you go. You have Lay's Hardcore Contracts. And you can head back to Hollow Deep. Um, ba -dum. And uh, we didn't mention this at the beginning of the video, but this uh, sword here is technically now the hardest item to farm in AQW. And yeah, you'll see why in just a moment. So you have your contract, and then um, the next thing we are going to get is one of the prerequisites, which is the Hollowborn Shadow of Fate. If you do already have this and all the other prerequisites, um, you can skip ahead to when we are actually farming uh, for the sword itself. So click on Hollowborn Paladin and you'll have to start with let's get you a suit. For this you must have the hardcore contract in your inventory and be level 75. Now um, 
basically another prerequisite here that we come upon is the fact that you will need uh, blinding light and destiny due to the fact that you will need a brilliant aura uh, in the description below I will link a video on how to get the blinding light of destiny which will show you how to get the brilliant aura but yeah if you don't have that you want to get started on that but the first thing is sparrows blood so you want to slash join Arkin Grove. Uh, one more um, thing that if you can do before you do this quest is get a uh, rank 10 good because you need a uh, rank 10 good for yups. Yep. Raj is correct in that. Um, I also have a video recorded on how to get rank 10 good fast for members, so I will link that. But other than that, it's not that hard to find. But here is your Sparrow's Blood. Uh, accept this and you'll kill the basically all the monsters around outside here so if we come outside you'll want to kill the girl offense as well as the speed uh, seed spitters and the lemurs and that will give you all your items for sparrow's blood it is a daily but you only need one so it's not bad next thing we need dark arts scholar and this is an armor from slash join light guard keep. Pretty sure she's light guard though. Yeah, light guard. Once you're here, head over. It is in the I Doom do believe, Red shop. I do believe you need a rank four, I think, for this item. Rank three. But you probably have rank three, so you probably have that already. Yep. So this requires rank three Doomwood. 20,000 gold, super easy. Next item is the gem of superiority. And let's look into how to get that. So uh, this one is super easy and it is at last join shadow blast. Once you're here, you want to go into the legion room, which is off to the left and kill everything in here until you get the uh, gem. It's super easy. I think it took me and Raj like 30 seconds. Uh, maybe we got lucky. Maybe we didn't. But yeah, super, super easy. All right. Next item is the Exalted Paladin Seal. And to get the Exalted Paladin Seal, just a second. Uh, you will need Mysterious Dungeon. And you'll have to go into the rep shop. And this is what requires rank 10 good. So uh, I'll link a video on how to get rank 10 good for members. Other than that, surf around YouTube if you don't already have it. But link in the description on how to do that if you are a member. But basically, you will want to slash join Dark Throne Hub. Once you're here, you want to click on Artix and go to Rep Shop. And we are, of course, looking for the Exalted Paladin Seal right here. 500,000 gold, not bad, but requires rank 10 good. All right, and next up on our list is Condensed Mana. And Condensed Mana is dropped by the Unending Avatar in Time Void. So once again, another very easy item to get. They're starting you off fairly simple, but the difficulty will ramp up into almost an Archfiend Doomlord farming style. Would you agree, Raj? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it has some similarities to farming Archfiend Doomlord, but without the RNG. So you want to uh, kill the unending avatar until you get the condensed mana. And after that, you'll need an additional 200 souls from Noxus Tower, as we explained earlier. So we can now head back to Hollow Deep and turn in your first quest called Let's Get You a Suit. And you get your armor here. Then we will move on to the next one called I Got Your Back and Your Top. This one requires level 85, and it requires that you have the armor, so make sure that you accept that armor. So let's accept this quest, and the first thing we will need is the Templar's Helm of Light, which you can get from slash join Yolger, or you can kill the Red Dragon for it, but there's... Alright, so once you're in Yolger, you'll want to click on him and go to his weapon shop, then go to helmets, scroll down, and here you have the Templar's Helm of Light. So you can either farm the red dragon for it or buy it for 20,000 gold. All right. So the next item we will need is, of course, the destiny cloak. Let's scroll on up here. And to get the destiny cloak, 
Um, it is also from the Doomwood Rep Shop. This one requires rank six Doomwood. So we will head back to Light Guard. And of course it's in the same place um, as usual from the lady. Boom, Rep Shop, Capes, and Destiny Cloak. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And the next item you'll need is the Dark Aura Gem. And to get that, you will want to slash join river. This one's a little annoying because um, you do have to farm some random boot chest thing. So if we go to his select quest, I believe, um, you want to you do the alignment quest. The you have to buy the silver victory blade first, I do believe. Yeah. So you'll see here the alignment quest, light or dark, where you will ten uh, kill ten skeletal warriors. That is just in battle under A. But as you can see at the top, it will say you need the enchanted victory blade. So we go to his chest shop. You want to buy the um, silver victory blade. And then go to Enchanted Victory Blade, and you'll need the Dark Aura Gem, which you get from the Victory Blade Enchantment. And of course, you'll need the Raven Ring scroll, uh, scroll, which is from Skeleton Vikings, slash join Graveyard. Three Unseeing Eyes from Skeletal Warriors, also slash join Graveyard. And five Shards of Diamonds from Big Jack Sprat, which is the boss in slash join Graveyard. I'm not going to go there because it's super simple. And then you can finally do this quest where you need to kill 10 skeletal warriors from either graveyard or battle under A. All right, so that is how you get the dark aura gem. Next up is the shadow dragon soul. And to get that, you'll want to head on over to the necropolis cavern, slash join necker cavern. And for this, you will have to have completed the storyline so an easier way to do this instead of walking is actually slash join um, shadow fall. Once you're in shadow fall, you can click on Braeus fast travel. And I'm pretty sure there's a button here that sends you right. Yep. Necro cavern. And he sends you directly to um, chaos Vordred. Here, a bunch of botters farming uh, void high lord or a bunch of botters farming end sod. end sod. Go back a room, kill the sh shadow dragon. And that is how you get the Shadow Dragon Soul. All right. The second to last item is the Crypt Keeper's Lich Head. And that All right. So for the Crypt Keeper Lich Head, you want to slash join Temple. And once you're here, uh, you want to find the Lich. If you click on this guy, you can go to the bottom. Oh. Yeah, skip to the bottom. There we go. Head to the left. You have to... Yeah, you have oh. to complete this area too. It's a bunch of uh, levels. I think there's something like 30 levels. So if you haven't completed it, I gotta get cracking on that. Yep. And here is the Crypt Keeper Lich. 10k health. It's a lower drop, but not difficult at all. And finally, you'll need an additional 200 human souls. So back to Noxus Tower for you. All right. So that is the second quest of three to get our first prerequisite. Turn that in and accept the Hollowborn Paladin Helmet. Next up is the Dark Sacrifice. Uh, this is when the difficulty starts ramping up a little bit. And for this one, um, this requires the Ascended Light of Destiny as a prerequisite. And the way you get the Ascended Light of Destiny is from getting Drakkit's armor. When you turn in your Binding Light of Destiny to get Drakkit's armor, you also receive the Ascended Light of Destiny. There will be a link in the description on how to get Drakkit's armor, uh, basically entailing how to get the Ascended Light of Destiny. And at this point, you now must be level 95. So first thing on the list is an unidentified 25. You can either get that from farming supplies to spin the Wheel of Chance, or you can do it the way that costs you 15 million gold, which is going to Nolgath, so slash house stew, head through the portal, and then make your way through the Turkus. 
head middle and you'll want to head to where the void high lord is again i'm kind of brushing past the simpler stuff because at if you're at the point in the game where you're farming this sword you should have the majority of basic aqw farming knowledge so once you're at swindle bilk go to his merge shop and you'll want to buy the unmolded fiend essence for 15 million and there you can get your unidentified 25 you will actually need two of these in total so you may only have to buy one might have to buy two might have to buy none if you're a farmer so after you have your uni 25 you will need the seal of light seal of light is from slash join altion battle these are super easy go to her quest seal of light accept it kill ultra altion good job next up is the seal of darkness slash join sepulture battle now at this point um once you're here uh you can accept her quest get the seal of darkness but i would recommend staying in this area until you get the less than one percent drop from ultra sepulture which is the doom heart because that will be an item required for the final item uh, to get the actual sword itself. So if you don't already have a Doom Heart, stay in this room, save yourself the trouble later, and farm the Doom Heart now. Uh, it could take up to an hour. It's, yeah, as Ross said, 0.3% chance. Very low, but with a little bit of luck on your side and some friends helping you, uh, it shouldn't be too bad. So that is how to get the Seal of Darkness and the Doom Heart. Next up is the Undead Skull. And to get the Undead Skull, um, you will want to head over to Artix Point. Once you're here, you want to kill the Skeletal Minion, which is off to the right. There's Raj using the brand new sprint mechanic. Uh, sorry if this guide is on the longer side, there's just a lot of little things you need. And there's the skeletal minion. Next item you need is the Omni Artifact, so head over to the right. Click on Artix, go to his quests. And yes, you will have to do all of these quests. So Unholy Wasabi is from the sushi shop in here. And uh, let's actually head over to the Artix point quest here on the wiki. Alright, so as mentioned, First quest is find the unholy wasabi. The wasabi is in Artix Point. I'm gonna go to Raj. And boom. It's a kill everyone in the room type deal. And you'll want to head off to the left. Up. And the left again. Oh, skeletal minions still alive. Keep going, keep going. And there you go, Fang Block Sushi, head into the back room and kill the Corrupted Sushi Chef. Now next item is Cicero's Zoom Doom Sock. It is in an arrow in the sewers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slash an Artix point again, just to save us time. Once we're back, head up to the left, head down into the sewers here, off to the right, and then his sock is going to be somewhere in here. After that, you want to kill the chicken cow, which is found in Battle on Town. If you go into the forge, then Zorbax Haunted Staff dropped by Big Jack Sprat in um, Slash Join Graveyard. After that, um, Corrupt Scepter found, and that is from killing the Dragon Con. The Dragon Con is in um, Slash Join, uh, what's it? The booths. It's in Slash Join Vendor Booths. So just find the Dragon Con there, not too difficult. After that, you will need Surfer's Power Button, which is dropped by a mutated hamster. And that is in Slash Join Underground Lab. After that, you'll need to battle Grave Fang, Slash Join Grave Fang. And then finally, you'll want to recover Death's Hourglass. Uh, you'll want to head to screen two, which is this screen, and then walk back all the way to the middle where Artix resides, and you'll see Death's Hourglass right in the middle of the little fountain area. And then you have finally received 
all of the items you need for the Omni Artifact. So make sure you're accepting the items you get from each of these quests, because then in the Artifact Merge, boom, merge it into the Omni Artifact. And finally, 300 human souls. <laughs> so at this point, head back to Hollow Deep. All right, and once here, you can now turn in the Dark Sacrifice, and this gives you the Hollowborn Shadow of Fate. You don't need to do the post summoning, but post summoning does get you the um, character page badge. So now we can finally move on to actually farming the Hollowborn Sword of Doom, starting with the quest A Dark Knight. So you want to accept this quest, and it will require a Shadow Worn, a 10 Empowered Essence, Shadow Scythe Venom Head, and 10 Hollow Souls. You get the Hollow Souls from Slash Join. Um, the original shadow or the new shadow realm so just regular slash join shadow realm then you head this way and then head through the middle and you want to kill the hollowborn sentinels until you have 10 but as mentioned earlier this is very similar to farming archfiend doomlord this is like your first afdl quest so you will repeat this quest on average 36 times so you will end up doing a dark knight on average 36 times minimum of 25 maximum of 67 so since uh, this is the case you want to sit in this room and farm the um, the hollow souls until you have the max stack which is 250 after that you want to slash join shadow realm past once you're here you want to kill the Shadow Warriors until you have the max stack of Empowered Essence, which is 50. After that, click the button and kill the Shadow Lord until you get two items. So the first item you need is actually for this quest, which is the Shadow Worn. And the second item is for the next quest, which is the um, Shadow Doom Reaver. He drops both of these swords. so. Either kill him until he drops both, or kill him until he drops one or the other. It's up to you. Uh, we'll go over efficiency matters later. And then the final item you need for a Dark Knight is called the Shadow Scythe Venom Head, and that is from Slash Join Shadow Fall. Boom. Head in here, off to the right. Go to Gravelin. Then go to her... Um, Da, 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 evil reputation rep shop once you're in here shadow scythe venom head 100,000 gold on average this quest will run you 3.6 million worth of gold all right so now that you've completed that you can move on to the second quest which is called a dark knight rises now for dark knight rises you need five dark fragments which are dropped from the previous quest a dark knight 25% chance for either 2, 3, 4, 5. As I said, on average, it will take you 36 completions, which is getting 3.5 Dark Fragments per turn in. I know it's not possible, but just how statistics works. So once you have 5, you can go on to the next quest. Um, I'll go over efficiency methods later, because there are a few things we can touch on. But first thing you will need is 10 Doom Matter, the Shadow Doom Reaver, which you get from the Shadow Lord, as I just showed, the Worshipper of Doom, 10 ingredients, and 5 Dark Fragments. So to start with Doom Matter, um, as shown earlier in the video, um, we would highly recommend you get your Doom Matter from Swindle Bilk. So head to Nolgath, head to Swindle Bilk, and you will buy a voucher for 300,000 gold, and that will give you 10 Doom Matter. I'd recommend buying the max stack of Doom Matter, which is 30, so you can buy three, uh, 300,000 gold vouchers. If you'd prefer to farm your Doom Matter, we have a video in the description uh, made by us called How to Farm Doom Matter, Necra, and Kaoru, so go watch that. Next item you will need is the Worshipper of Doom. Now this is actually the most annoying item in the whole farm. It is from Slash Join Luma Fortress. And Raj, I'm going to need you for this one. So once you're in Luma Fortress, you must complete the whole storyline, but Raj had it completed, so he can just walk straight to the boss for me. Go to, and you will kill the Corrupted Luma until she drops her armor, which is called the Worshipper of Doom. 
I believe it's around a 1 to 5% drop. And you will need to do this quest a total of 15 times. So complete a Dark Knight Rises around 15 times. Yes, as Raj said, this boss is 8. So next item you need. And the final item is ingredients. Now, the best way to get ingredients is if you are a member, which I'm assuming the majority of the people farming this item who have NSOD and all the other requirements are most likely a member. Um, you can get that from slash join deep chaos. And you can kill uh, fight challenge boss, ultra void. Bum -bum -bum, head down here, kill ultra Cthul until she drops um, 10 ingredients. But as I said, you will need to do this quest 15 times. So I would farm ultra Cthul until she drops 150 ingredients. Not bad because they do drop one to seven ingredients per kill. If you are not a member, you want to slash join Doom Vault. My bad, Doom Vault A. Oh, I guess it worked. Once you're in Doom Vault, pull the lever. And yes, we are going to Binky uh, Classic Boss. And this will be a pain in the ass if you are not a member. Sorry about that. But yeah, click on the bookshelf over here on the right. And here you are. You can go and fight Binky. 800,000 locks abilities can nuke you. Pretty difficult, but that is how you get your ingredients. So after you have completed this quest once, you can move along to the third one. Um, once we go on to the third quest, you'll see that there is a lock at five Doom Fragments as well as 20 Dark Fragments. So before you can complete the third quest, you will need to complete a Dark Knight Rises five times at least, and a Dark Knight as many times as it takes for you to get those requirements. Uh, first item you need is another Uni 25. As mentioned earlier, you can get that from Swindle Bilk or you can farm it using supplies to spin the Wheel of Chance. And next is the Necrol Scroll of Dark Arts. This one isn't too bad, but um, it can be seemingly difficult. Now, uh, as in the final quest, A Dark Knight Returns, you will need three more Necro Scrolls of Dark Arts. In this case, we would highly recommend killing um, Vordred, Ultra Vordred, until you get four Necro Scrolls. I believe the join is slash join Vordred. Nope, I think it is Epic Vordred, yeah. So, slash join Epic Vordred, kill Ultra Vordred until he drops four Necro Scrolls of the Dark Arts. If you're at this point, you should be very familiar with this item as for you needed it for the Necrotic Sword of Doom. And yes, as Raj said, use um, Blinding Light of Destiny for that damage boost as for you is undead. So after you have your four or one Necro Scroll of the Dark Arts, whichever you need, we can move on to the next item didn't accept the quest, but next item is the Royal Shadow Scythe Blade. Uh, this one sounds pretty difficult, but it's actually not. It's just a 1 million gold roadblock that you get from uh, the Shadow Scythe Honor Shop. And this is in slash join Shadow Fall. Once you're here in Shadowfall, it is also um, evil rank ten. Uh, you want to go to Devlin, of course, as always. Go to her, and then go to the Honor Shop. Boom, million gold, not bad considering you've just dropped millions and millions on Doom Matter, um, Uni Twenty Five, so on and so forth. So next item is the weapon imprint. Now you'll need a total of 13 weapon imprints, I believe it might be 14, but I'm pretty sure it's 13, right Raj? It's 13 actually. Let me just double check that real quick. Yep, it is 13 weapon imprints. And you get those from slash join Doom Vault B. Now this can be a pain in the ass if you haven't done it before, but basically you will need to complete all of the quests here in Doom Vault B, and then uh, walk to the end, not where I went, but walk to the very, very end, completing the quest in each room until you're at the Undead Rack score, 
who is once again undead. So you will kill him until you have 13 weapon imprints. He's the final boss at the end. Use Blinding Light of Destiny once again. And then the final two requirements for this quest are 20 Dark Fragments and 5 Doom Fragments, which you have already gotten from the previous two quests. So, at this point, you will have unlocked the final quest, and it is called A Dark Knight Returns. And here's the item we are going for. It requires 10,000 Dark Energy. Easiest way to farm that is killing Dark Makais and so on. I know... Um, if you're at this point, a lot of you will already have a max stack of Dark Energy. The 10 Necro Scrolls of the Dark Arts. Or the 4, my bad, 3. We farmed them earlier. 1 Bones from the Void Realm, which you get from uh, basically farming Ensod. You turn in 50 um, Void Auras, which you get from turning in 50 Empowered Essence and 3 Malignant Essence from the Shadow Lord. Um, if you're at this point in the video, you already know how to get bones from the Void Realm. The Doom Heart, as we mentioned earlier, the 12 weapons imprint from uh, Raxgor, 3 Desolate Horns, 30 Dark Fragments, and 10 Doom Fragments. So once again, you'll need an additional 10 Doom Fragments and another 30 Dark Fragments. Uh, more on that later. But to get the Desolate Dark Horn, you want to slash join Desolate. Um, he is one Just of those bosses where he's been tower crept. He used to be super difficult, but now is pretty much light work as for most classes can solve him. There's always people here killing him. Here's flaming slasher. Yeah, this guy um, will help him finish him off. He's got an arch paladin. But yeah, uh, you want to kill him. Right now. <laughs> I think on average it takes about six or seven kills because I'm not sure if it's a 100% drop or not. This is taking way too long. We're just gonna leave. But here, wait, let me end this quickly. Him. Here, hold on. But yeah. Come back. Come back. Um, final requirements, Doom Fragments and Dark Fragments, and let's get into Optimization. So, that is how you get the sword, but a little way to optimize your farm uh, comes from the Shadow Worm, as well as the um, Shadow Doom Reaver. So, basically, what me and Raj have calculated is that in the process it takes to get um, five dark fragments, most of the time you will end up with the Shadow Doom Reaver. If you do, you will want to stop farming the first quest and move on to this quest, do the requirements, as for you already have the Doom Reaver and the dark fragments, and turn it in. If you are at 10 dark fragments and you do not have the uh, Shadow Doom Reaver, you will want to continue to farm a Dark Knight until you get the Shadow Doom Reaver because he also drops the Shadow Worm. You don't want, basically you do not want to be killing the Shadow Lord when you have A, the Shadow Worm, or B, the, um, B, the Shadow Doom Reaver in your inventory because you're wasting opportunities to get another low drop item. Uh, which in this case is the Shadow Worm. So basically, if you have the five necessary to move on, as well as the Doom Reaver, do the next quest, Dark Knight Rises. If you don't, keep farming a Dark Knight until you get the Doom Reaver. And as far as optimization goes, that's about it. Do you have anything to add, Raj? I mean, for this, it's kind of oh, you like you were, were mentioning all here. Oh, never mind, I can hear basically you Basically, like... Uh, yeah, basically, as uh, Stuart mentioned earlier, it's uh, similar to NSOD. I mean, uh, AFDL. So, most of it's just like, um, what, repeating the first quest a bunch and then building up from there to do the second quest 15 times to fulfill the quest requirements for the next two. Yep. It's very similar to so, AFDL. Yeah, as far as optimization, optimization goes, like, just as Stuart said, like, just remember to, like, not, um, farm it while you have one of the two. If you have Shadow Worn, go turn it in. Spend that 100k gold, and if you have Shadow Doom Reaver, I forget the Doom Fragment. Yep. Well said. So, uh, that is how to get officially the hardest item in Adventure Quest Worlds. Um, you basically need every other hardcore item except for AFDL 
and Legion Revenant. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, but it also gives you this set that comes along with it. Um, yeah. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in our next guide on how to farm the Necrotic Blade of the Underworld. Goodbye.